What's up, everyone? It's Kirsten Kirschbaum here. Super excited to have one of my dearest friends and business partners on with us today. Her name is Darrell Dar. Hi, Darrell. Super, super excited to have you. I know that there are so many people that are going to be jumping on with us live. So give us a shout out in the comments if you're jumping on with us live. And then, of course, a lot of people are catching the recordings later. So hello to you if you're watching us later. I promise that in the next 30 minutes, we are going to deliver some really inspirational stories and more importantly, some valuable content that you, if you are a health entrepreneur or if you know someone who uses this their skills as a healer, as a massage therapist, you know, yoga instructor, Reiki, chiropractor, and even just us moms at home can use in our daily lives to find greater health and greater wealth. So I'm really, really honored to interview Darrell and to introduce you to her. She is a mother and she is also one of the very best massage therapists I have ever personally experienced. And I have experienced many. Darrell and I have been working together for the past, what, six years now, I believe. And um, she's incredible. She has achieved um, one of the highest ranks in doTERRA as a doTERRA diamond. And what that means is that she has helped thousands of people transform, most importantly, their health and also with the leaders who are privileged enough to work with her. She's been able to help them transform their financial freedom as well. So Darrell, I just want to give you a moment to just kind of give a shout out and introduce yourself as well. Um, yeah. Well, thank you for having me today. I'm excited for this conversation. Um, we have been through so much together and it's incredible to see where our life has come, I think, after all these years. So this is, it's exciting to also share this with other people who may even be considering this for the first time, because I, I really had no idea what it would mean for our family and for our life when I said yes to this. Um, and I think many times I wanted to say no, and, and yet I still felt this pull. And so if any of you are feeling like that, I would highly recommend you listen to that because there's a reason for it. Um, I have been married to my husband. We are celebrating our 20th anniversary. We've been together 23 years this September. Um, he is the love of my life. And 15 years into our marriage, we were blessed with a beautiful little boy, Evan, um, also the greatest gift. And um, so I am super grateful to be his mom. And, and yet I'm also extremely grateful to doTERRA that I have been able to take care of him um, using oils and having that be part of our life. It's been incredible to not have to rush to the doctor all the time and to have powerful tools at our fingertips. So um, that being said, I started massaging. I was raised in construction. I was born and raised in Las Vegas. And um, I was managing a construction company when I decided to go to massage school. And I think it was hysterical because most of my family was like, what is she going to be a prostitute? <laughs> she's in Vegas and she's going to go do massage. And I, I think <laughs> it was incredible. I don't think they understood the love I have for the human body and the passion that I have for, for understanding it and, and watching it heal and just being able to work with it. So um, that was the most best decision, I think, besides marrying my husband that I've ever made was going to massage school. Uh, because I got to experience um, the last 15 years of working with people um, in all areas of life. So my my journey took me from working at the Four Seasons to when the Wynn opened. I was the lead massage therapist at the Wynn Hotel for three years and um, left there to go out on my own and was working alongside some doctors and chiropractors um, doing cranial sacral work and lymphatic work. And that took me more into working with cancer patients and along the way just was able to utilize oils alongside what they were also getting to get some really spectacular results with their health care. And I love oils. Um, it was a, something that I liked because of the way they smelled and I'm a smell freak. But then additionally, when I started to see what they did for our life and for the health of the people I was working with, it just totally expanded my, my mind and wow. it's been an incredible journey. Absolutely. Thank you. I feel like we all get to, we, we know you already. So this is wonderful. So um, take us back there. I was actually taking notes while you were talking. So take us back to maybe a moment where before, you know, you started using doTERRA oils or building a business or anything like, 
you know, you wanted to be a massage therapist. What were some of the main goals that you had and what level of success did you achieve uh, in your life previous to what you're doing now? So with massage, um, my goal with massage was to do something that I was passionate about, loving people, taking care of them. I was I had scholarships to go to medical school. Um, so I graduated the top of my class in high school, was going to medical school. And when I started my clinical internship, I realized I didn't want to go that path. Um, I didn't have a lot of joy. Actually, a lot of what I was seeing was kind of counterintuitive to how I'd been raised and um, what I felt you know, was beneficial for the body. And so um, I took a step back and went into massage because of that. I really wanted to get my hands on people and help them. And so I felt like I was able to do that. I was extremely successful in massage. Um, it, it just was an incredible business. It provided a great life for us. Um, but I got really tired. You know, I, there's, there's only so many hours in a day and there's a lot of people that need love and attention. And um, it started to weigh on me a little bit. Really? Wow. And what, what were some of your fears as far as the longevity of, you know, doing massage? Well, I'm grateful I still get to do it today because I want to, yes. <laughs> not because I have to. Yes. Um, so I love getting my hands on people. Uh, and I think that I've been able to do that because I haven't had to work you know, mm -hmm. eight to 10 hours a day doing massage these last few years. Um, it's my, my concerns were simply that I couldn't take time off. I couldn't be with my husband. And when I was in the hotels, we had to work obviously every holiday and weekends. Um, it just put a strain sometimes on our marriage and time that we were able to spend away with each other. We never took a vacation um, because if I wasn't working, we weren't making money. And so it was, it was a challenge. It was, you know, something I did think about a lot. And then of course, coming, getting pregnant with my son, um, I wanted to be with him. I, he was a gift we were not expecting in life and I couldn't imagine missing his life. Like I just never thought we'd have him and then I didn't want to miss it. So something had to change. Yeah. Yeah. And you mentioned before that there was something that pulled you into doTERRA. There's probably a few things that really you pulled one of them. <laughs> I was not fishing for that, but talk about that. What, what are some of the things that really pulled you and helped you to make that transition into choosing to do doTERRA as a career, as as along with being a, a successful massage therapist? Once I started to see what oils did for my life, it was inevitable that I was also sharing them with my clients um, and the people around me. So just my love to help people was enough to get me started sharing. Um, of course you seeing in, in me, even things that I couldn't really see in me and kind of speaking into my life also was a gift because there were a lot of times along the way, I probably would have quit if I hadn't had somebody who was in my life that was doing this alongside me. And that's one of the things I encourage my leaders with now is really partner with people that you love and people that you want to be on this journey with you, because, um, there's something incredible about doing it with a friend or a loved one or somebody that just um, wants best for you and for your life. Uh, it keeps you going when you sometimes don't have it in you or don't see why you're doing it. Um, but the pull that I had was there's a mission in oils. There's a mission to change the lives of people and the health of our communities. And it, it's powerful. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. That's a great explanation. And I'm starting to see all these comments. Uh, Christy says she had a friend who had to retire as a therapist because it was so hard on her body. So I'm seeing, you know, um, we'll, we'll look at comments later and stuff too, but we're definitely seeing um, some, you know, af people affirming and agreeing with what you were saying before. Um, so I'd like to go in also to some moments for you. So as a massage therapist and working with many different patients, you, meant, you mentioned doing lymphatic massage, working with cancer patients, uh, things like that. I know you've been able to incorporate the essential oils into what you do. Is there uh, a single moment that stands out to you that you'd like to share with everyone as one of the most important, maybe lessons and experiences that you've had using oils on your patients? Wow, there's a couple, but it's not compliant. <laughs> yeah, try to try to not say you know like names of diseases and things like that, right? So I I was working with a woman um, who had broken her arm and her shoulder. She was in a rehab facility and um, she was getting really well, you know, being, progressing really well. And um, this man was brought in next door to her 
and um, he was in really bad shape. They actually um, weren't sure if he would even make it, if he'd ever be able to walk or talk or anything. He had been, he had gone into multi-system organ failure, had had a heart attack and a stroke, and his whole body was convulsing um, so bad that they had him on massive tranquilizers and it wasn't relaxing him. He hadn't slept in weeks. Um, and his wife was so distraught, like she passed the wife in the hallway and the lady next door and they just got to talking and she's like, you know, I don't know if my massage therapist could help your husband, but she's been really helpful to me. Maybe you should just call her. And I think at that point, the wife was just beyond herself. She didn't know what to do. She had been through so much and she had reached out to me and said, Hey, would you come and work on my husband? Um, she's, you know, he's right next door to this client of mine. And I said, okay, sure. I'll be over the, you know, this evening. And I walked in and I had no idea what I was walking into. <laughs> so when I walked in and I saw his chart and I was, he was, his whole body was just convulsing. And I started washing my hands at the sink and literally just prayed. And I was just like, I don't even know why I'm here, but obviously I'm here for a reason. So um, while I was washing my hands, I got myself composed. I went over and talked to the wife a little bit about his condition, what had happened. And I started applying oils to him and then doing some cranial work. And when I got to a part of his brain and, and his body, um, I don't know how a lot of people don't know a lot about cranial work, but we got to a position in his brain where his, his brain got still, it's called a still point and his whole body relaxed. So the oils that I put on his spine and hitting and inducing that still point and working with his brain he stopped convulsing for the first time in weeks um, and literally an answer to prayer, but it was an incredible moment for me. And it reali I realized in that moment that there was so much that we could be using these for that, um, that we weren't, you know, and even the neurolog neurologist um, had contacted me afterwards to see what I had done. Um, and, you know, there's, there's a lot of factors at play, but that was a moment when I decided I needed to really start teaching because I think that there were so many sick people I was that were being brought to me that I realized these could really help them and their families, even if just to help them reduce their stress, you know? Yeah. Um, I have to know, and I think everyone wants to know, what oils did you use? Yeah. What were your go-to? Peppermint is antispasmodic. So mm -hmm. frankincense I put first and then peppermint along his the neck, the nape of his neck. Um, he had also had a um, bladder infection that they, from having, you know, a catheter put in. So they were struggling with that. And so I put some over his, his bladder, some different oils over there, melaleuca, um, lemongrass, cypress. And it was, I believe a beautiful combination of oils, prayer, and some really good body work. And he, he is walking and talking to this day, his wife, he, um, I cry when I think about him because they are just incredible people. And I don't really, I don't think they realize how much they blessed me that night just by right. being present to witness it. Um, but also to really drive home how powerful this was in this journey that I was going on, not knowing how many lives would be touched along the way. Right. That's so beautiful. I think there's a lot of massage therapists. In fact, why don't you go ahead and comment on here if you are a massage therapist and you're watching this. I know that there's a certain sense of you just want to love and serve people, right? That's what you're there to do. You bless people's lives. You make us feel better energetically, physically, spiritually, all of it. And how have you seen the oils like go further? You know what I mean? Like, how do you, how does adding oils into what you already do help to magnify that calling that you feel to really go and bless people? Wow. Well, they get to the cells, you know, we get to touch the skin and the muscles and we get to, you know, work with those areas of the body. Um, but we, and bones and things like that, as we're working, we can, we can work those areas, but the cells are a completely different part. And to be able to apply something to the body that gets into the blood and gets into the cells, I think just magnifies our efforts and energetically on top of that, um, the work that they do is just unbelievable uh, results. So yeah, yeah. that's and cool. They can do when they're home, like when they're not on our table, it's, it's a tool they can take home and that's when they get their power back. It's something they can do for themselves, which I think we've all experienced. So that's yeah. a great point. So you are one of the best essential oil class teachers that I know. Mm -hmm. Will you go a little bit deeper and teach everyone about what it does in your cells? You know, the numbers, you know, like how, you know what I mean? I love that. Go ahead and share those statistics. 
it's very empowering. Yeah, we um, one drop of oil will penetrate every cell in your body over a thousand times. And so if you think about that, um, and that they have the capacity to pass the cell membrane, um, when you put an oil on your skin, it gets into your blood, and then it's delivered to different regions of the body. Um, when it goes into a cell, it's able to really have an impact on not only the DNA of the cell, the mitochondria, and on also anything that might be in the cell, a virus, for, for example, um, it can have a really huge impact on that as well. So when we're using those oils and they come into our body, they penetrate so deeply, but so safely as well. So they, because they're an oil and the membrane of our cell is, you know, um, oily membrane, right? Those oils can then penetrate where, you know, water soluble things can't, they, they don't pass that membrane system. And most things don't actually, they're very um, particular about what they let through. So I love that oils have the capacity to do that. Very few things can cross the blood brain barrier for the same reason. Um, it's, it's very picky what it lets across the blood brain barrier. Oils do have the capacity to do that because they're so small and um, they have a huge impact on our brain as well um, as our mood and our emotions, our endocrine system and um, everything else that we need to survive in this world. So they're great. That's cool. Thank you. I, we, we had to go a little sciencey. I'm sure there's a lot of people here that want to, you know, learn about that. So that is wonderful. So um, I also wrote down here that I, I'm writing down these moments. I feel like your life is defined by these moments and most people's are right. So you've had moments of healing with people. You've also had moments of mentoring. I love how you talked about how you've never been in this by yourself, right? You've either had me or or others that are around you, you know, members of your team that you've been able to connect with. Yeah. What does it mean? This is a two part question. What does it mean for you to be able to work with the individual um, leaders in your own organization as a mentor? And has there ever been a moment where you've seen one of your leaders' lives transformed because they're also uh, doing a DoTerra business with you? Oh gosh. First part of the question, um, working with the women that I get to work with and a few men, like I, I cannot tell you um, how deep those relationships have gone. Um, there's, I, I think of, you know, right off the top, Kara. I mean, I closed my store in Utah, drove down and helped her deliver a beautiful son, you know, and, and this is a woman I met in doTERRA and um, lifelong friendships. There, there's so many people on our, in our team that, I am so fond of and I love so deeply. I don't even think they know how often I think about them or pray for them. Um, but I, it's a community of people that love people and it's really hard to find that in any workforce. Right. And, and to just be surrounded by compassionate people who have big hearts. Um, we all have crazy lives, but we come together and we nurture each other and we foster those relationships and we grow together. And I think that even when things are difficult, and even if you have a struggle with someone on your team, overcoming that just deepens and, and makes you more appreciate who they are as a person. So, yes, yes I loved it. And I love the people in my life because of doTERRA. <laughs> definitely, definitely. So um, I, I love how you talked about Kara and that moment that you guys shared together. That's so beautiful. So what about other, um, you know, you don't have to say like names or specifics, but like other business leaders, like what does it mean for someone to be on your team? What do they get to experience with you? What type of mentorship do you provide? Well, they know that I will be there for them no matter what. So it doesn't matter if I'm going to another city to teach a class for somebody on their team, or if I'm up late in the middle of the night trying to help them close out a month and celebrate with them, if it's um, helping them to to organize or restructure their team so that they get to have and make the most of the efforts that they're putting into it. Um, I, I want to see them succeed. I think more joy in my heart happens when they succeed even than my own. Um, and I never thought that would be possible. I thought that as I was growing in this, I'd be super excited when I hit a certain rank or when something changed, but I've had extreme excitement and joy when their lives change and I get to see what it means for their family. And, being able to take vacations or do things um, that they never thought possible. Yeah. So. Yeah. Zig Ziglar talks about how when you help enough people get what they want, then you get what you want also. And isn't that what this business is all about, really? 
yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. I love that. It's, it's amazing. So um, you mentioned that before you were actually never able to take a vacation, right? So why don't you share with us your first vacation that you and your husband took together uh, once you were finally able to do that? Oh my gosh, we have taken more vacations with this here <laughs> than we have ever taken in our life. Um, and it actually created, I wouldn't say like a traveling addiction, but it is, it's created so much freedom in our life that we go where we want when we want now. And we've been, you know, Costa Rica and Dominican. And I mean, we've been so many places with doTERRA. We've been on cruises um, to Bahamas. And, you know, I think that we have um, the next step and desire for us is to go on these mission trips and to do some of the things that we really started out was kind of what drew us in in the first place. And we're finally getting there. Um, but yeah, the, the vacations and just being able to do what I love and be able to celebrate with people I love has been really awesome too. Yeah, absolutely. So vacations now. <laughs> and I don't have yeah. to work weekends if I don't want to. Right, right, right. Yeah, create a life that you don't need a vacation from, right? <laughs> so um, there are some of us on here that have, you know, spouses that are kind of maybe wondering like you know are you really going to do this oil thing like i know for me you know my husband in the beginning was like he called it the girls oils club right and it was you know it took me a couple of years to really prove myself and prove that i was committed to this um talk to us about your husband he's a wonderful man i adore your husband i think he is so rad and has he had any concerns and, and maybe speak a little bit to how you've been able to bring this into your lives and, you know, maybe some of the struggles that you've had and some of the um, success that you've had doing that with him? Well, in the beginning, he um, he didn't really know what to think about it, to be honest with you. He he knew that I was kind of venturing out and trying something a little different, but I was doing it alongside two or three other jobs. I was teaching at the college. Um, I was still seeing my own clients in my own office and then I was still seeing people at the lymphatic office and so um this was a job I wasn't needing like I just couldn't see me fitting it in and I think at the first he was very resentful a little bit about the time that it was taking away from home so if any of you guys are feeling that from your spouses um I encourage you to just speak to them so I I really just got him aside and I said you know what if what if it was possible Eric that I spent a little extra time now but I could leave these other two jobs. Would you, would you be okay just right now giving me your support? Um, and I said, I don't know how long it'll take. It may take six months. It may take two years. I have no idea, but I promise you it'll be worth it. And if it's not, we won't go forward, you know? And he, he gave me his support. He watched Evan, you know, when I taught classes and um, we really just found our way through it. And he was, in the beginning, like I said, he didn't, he was kind of not really involved at all. And then I started using him on him more <laughs> like, let's do an aroma touch and let's have a romantic night at home. <laughs> so if you really want your spouse to come on board, start giving them aroma touches and have yes. romantic evenings with your honey. Um, because then they're like, oh yeah, those oils, they're magnificent. <laughs> they start telling other guys about it. So um, that was great. And he really came around and I feel like when I hit actually gold, was when I felt him kind of step in and be even more vocal about it and more supportive. So if, it, if you're early on in your business and your spouse isn't on board, just keep going until you yeah, can. Just get gold. Gold. <laughs> <laughs> I call it gold. Gold is the game changer. It really, really is. Gold is the, is the place in your business. And all of you who um, are just new to this and just kind of checking it out, you can, if you subscribe, I will make sure I send out the earnings and disclosure statement and the build guide that we use to explain the business. So you can check that out. Um, but gold is the place where you get to, you, you have more options, right? You're like, do I want to work that job or do I want to quit that job? Like, you know, so it actually starts to produce something that is sustainable. So I mean, not that before that, but it's, you can, you can totally do it before then. It's just, yeah. we, we kind of, we knew we had, um, because we got late, started late in our marriage, we needed to save for our son. Like we had college and all these things to, to catch up on that other people may had thought about before. <laughs> so we wanted to, we really wanted to continue to serve and do the things we were doing without compromising what our life looked like. And so we, yeah, it was, it was important to go gold and beyond. 
Absolutely. So um, for everyone who's watching, if you guys have questions for Jarrell, this is your opportunity to type them in the chat box. I will make sure to ask her that. Um, but I have a few more questions for you while you guys are getting that together. So maybe pinpoint like two or three tips that you have for others who want to follow in your footsteps and be thinking of like, what has contributed most to your success? Like what are the top three things that you have either done or implemented or, you know, like experience that have contributed that everyone needs to make sure they do the three things they need to make sure they do that have contributed to your success. Um, first thing and foremost, turn off the television um, and spend time, the time that you think you don't have, you have, um, if it's TV or whatever you do to escape social media, I don't care, but find that 30 to 40 minutes a day and do something, just anything, reach out to somebody, reconnect with them and build a relationship up, um, share a sample, but you have time. And we, you know, when I started out in this business, I always said I didn't have enough time um, because I, I believe that. And I always kind of saw that in my life. It was, you know, what my mom said. And what I realized was when I started to say to myself, I do have all the time in the world. I have the same 24 hours that everybody else does. And I prioritized this business and made it important. It grew. And so um, that would be my first thing is say awesome. no to, to dates with girlfriends or something. It's a short period of time to really pour into it and get the momentum going um, to have a great reward for your family. So, or invite all your girlfriends to the oil date. That's right. <laughs> It's just a different date, right? Yes, um, yes. You're just not going to go to the movie theaters and do nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so um, the other piece of advice is, I mean, for me, I think that you have to talk about the business. You have to get really comfortable talking about this business. Um, when, in the beginning, again, I didn't a lot because I had a business that I was very much aligned with. If you're a massage therapist or a chiropractor or a doctor or whatever, we're very um, attached to not only our title, but what we've created and the work that we get to do. And so it was really hard for me to separate that and go, hmm, I, I do network marketing. You know, for me, it was really a hard shift in my brain. But the minute I made it, I'm like, I am super proud of this business and I'm super proud of everything that I've accomplished. I've touched more lives teaching about oils than I ever did in massages because those keep going, right? My hands can only go to one person at one time oils can touch families' lives in day after day after day. And so it was talking about the business and showing other women that you can have freedom. You can homeschool your kid if you want to. You can, you know, never take him to the doctor. I can take him to the doctor, but he's never been on an antibiotic. He's five years old. And to be able to have that in your home and in your life and to feel so empowered as a woman, but as a wife and, a, you know, as a business entrepreneur, I think is incredible. And you can do anything um, in this business. Just breathe on it a little bit every day. <laughs> number three, Kirsten, um, number three, I think would be just to trust. To trust that the people that are meant to work with you will come to trust um, that you have everything inside of you and you need to do this business. To trust that you can't mess it up because they don't know that you forgot to say something in a class. <laughs> To yeah. trust, to, to just trust that, you know, it will get there in time. You will get where you want to be and not to give up on yourself, you know, let the world give up on you if that's what they want to do or naysayers or whatever, but never give up on yourself. Just trust that you can do this and you will be successful. You absolutely will. Absolutely. I, I couldn't have said it better myself, Jarrell. And, and I would add the fourth one for you is your heart because no one has a bigger heart than Darrell Dar, right, everyone? <laughs> I can see all your team on here they, that you, your faith, you exude faith. And I know you said trust, but your, your heart is so big, and I am honored to work with you. It really is amazing, the relationship that I get to have with you and, and to see the way that you pour into every single person who comes near you. It's such a, such a blessing. So thank you so much for your time. Do you have anything else that we didn't cover that you'd like to say? No, I'm just, um, again, I'm just a, eternally grateful for the women that I get to work with. And, and if all of you guys that are on the call, because I can't see who's out there, I love yeah. you guys. I love every single one of you, Kirsten, you included. 
Um, it's been the greatest journey and I know it's just begun. So I'm excited for what the next six years are going to bring and then some. Yes, absolutely. We have a lot more people to serve. Um, someone here was actually asking, let me scroll down. Where can we follow Jarell and receive more of her advice? <laughs> so what, what's the best way? I mean, Facebook is always a good place Facebook, to be. Facebook, yeah. you can, yeah, you can Facebook. It's Darrell Dar, or you can email me, Darrell Dar at Gmail. If you yeah. have specific questions, um, totally fine. Any of those. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, that's great. So yeah, people want more of you, Jarell. <laughs> so I love it. And thank you again. And uh, we'll talk to you guys all soon. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.